Guess who got an editing app? <laughs> Thanks for checking it out. Obviously, probably two things have happened. One, I didn't scare you off with my last video, and two, you're obviously interested in Orangewood guitars. Well, we're going to get going on that. So, as you can see, uh, I've got a little bit of uh, some editing software, and we're going to try to make this thing uh, as professional as possible. Within, let's just say, with that being said, my hat goes off to these guys that do this on a regular basis. Uh, it's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, so stick around, and we'll check out the Mason. Okay, so if you're here, it's pretty obvious that you're looking for one of two things. You're looking for a beginner's guitar, or you're looking for something that has good value for the money. Uh, both of them really kind of lead you to Orangewood Guitars. Who is Orangewood Guitars? Orangewood Guitars is a company based in LA, California. The guitars are then built in China or Indonesia, depending, I think, on model type. We'll get into a little bit of that later. Um, and then shipped back to the United States, set up professionally, sent out uh, direct to the customer, and avoiding the middleman. No dealers. That's how they claim to be able to give you the value uh, for the money. So <clears throat> uh, it doesn't really matter what model you buy. They're all kind of based on the same uh, principle. Uh, they are really going to compete with a guitar that is... Um, I would, in my opinion, twice the price range. Uh, so let's get down with the Mason and we will uh, discuss some of the features on that. Okay, this is the Mason Live. Uh, this is a grand auditorium shape. It's got a solid top, laminate back and sides. That would be solid top Sitka Spruce. This is laminate Powell Ferro. Uh, it, it's actually got a beautiful look to it. Uh, it's got a nice UV finish on, on the gloss. Uh, it comes with the electronics. This is a Fishman Flex Plus T EQ uh, with a built-in tuner. Uh, really nice. Uh, you can tune it on the go. Great for beginners. Uh, just makes for less to carry uh, if you're toting this thing around. So the Mason comes in about $395. Uh, it comes with a gig bag, uh, which is something that uh, in this price range really doesn't happen very often. Uh, it's professionally set up. Another thing that, you know, if you go to a big box store, you're going to run into uh, a guitar and then you might want the action adjusted. You might want a little bit different setup. Um, all that costs extra money. Um, so this thing comes really ready to go and for that price it's kind of uh, phenomenal. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the things that in this price range that make it special. Bone nut and saddle, uh, that is really reserved for higher price range. The bone nut and saddle really affect the way that your guitar sounds. Uh, it's kind of amazing actually. So uh, definitely something to look for and any professional will tell you that a bone nut and saddle are definitely preferred. Uh, some kind of, uh, or tusk or, you know, they have their preferences, but definitely above a plastic. You get a lot more resonance, you get a lot better tone uh, with a bone nut and saddle. Um, X bracing, this has the X bracing, uh, just like the standard models that you see on the higher names today. Um, the construction is really good, the fit and finish is really nice. Uh, it has gold tuners, it's got a nice, uh, uh, like a rubbery kind of grip on it, which makes it really nice to feel. Uh, and, and they stay nice and clean looking all the time, there's not a lot of smudges, so uh, I kind of, I like it. The, um, the guitar that shipped it to me, uh, tracking was excellent. I saw every stop it made. I could follow it on a daily basis. It shipped all the way from California to Indiana, uh, and it made it here safe and was almost in tune. Uh, I couldn't say more about that. Uh, let's take a look at the case I talked about, the gig bag. Okay. Here we have the case. Uh, <clears throat> it's really nice gig bag, actually. Uh, better than I expected. <clears throat> it comes with optional pit guard, which is cool. You know, they leave it off so you can choose. It comes with a couple of cards here. 
One of them talks about truss rod adjustment and congratulations, which is kind of nice. There's a caring for your guitar guide here. There's a thank you, a signature of the person who set up the guitar and a contact information. And then the information on the electronics on the guitar. Uh, so really some good information, some uh, nice stuff here to have with it. It also comes with the wrench to adjust the truss rod. Looks like it has an extra uh, pin, bridge pin, uh, in case you lose one, I guess. Um, and uh, that looks like about it. So let's open this thing up. Uh, it's really nice and padded. This is not like your cheap, skinny uh, guitar case sleeve, so to speak. As we open it up, you'll be able to see it's got a really nice thick padding here. I'd say, oh, I don't know, that's probably a half inch thick. You can probably see it here along this line. Um, it has a <clears throat> strap that holds the neck in, which I really like. Uh, it keeps her all nice in place. Uh, so a really nice gig bag. I mean, <clears throat> I would guess that this thing would cost roughly, I don't know, 50 to $75 if you went and bought one. So, um, like I say, most guitars in this price range do not come with a gig bag or a case to speak of. So you buy a $400 guitar, then you've got 60 bucks to buy a gig bag, maybe another $50 in setup. I mean, really, are you making out? So uh, just something to consider. These things are set up, ready to go, and ready to travel. All right, last couple of things here. Let's talk about customer service. That's a big issue if you're buying a guitar that you've never seen, touched, felt before. I get it. Uh, it's tough. So they seem to have, from what I've seen and read, uh, a good return policy. Uh, they claim to give you your money back if you're not satisfied. Uh, there is a website, or not a website, there's a community on Facebook. You can join that and you can really get some feedback from people that own them or get ready to buy them. I'm a member of that myself and we have people that get on there all the time and are looking and interested in possibly buying one. You don't have to own one. Uh, so you can get a lot of feedback from that website. Uh, another thing that we're going to want to talk about real quick, uh, personally on the customer service level, I did email Orangewood because my guitar is a Mason Live Limited. It's not the actual live, it's the limited, but the limited they don't sell anymore. So I wanted to give a more accurate or a more current review on the guitar. The guitar is exactly the same as a standard Mason Live other than it's got a couple of little fancier things. I've got the ebony instead of the Ovenco, uh fretboard and bridge. I have a black veneer top with a mother of pearl design where the standard Mason Live would come with the, the, the wood up top, the oval coat here, uh, and the electronics are a little bit different. Um, I did give you the accurate stats for the Mason Live uh, before, so that would be what you would be getting if you ordered it today. Um, another thing is that was brought to my attention on my first video, a uh, gentleman, Jazz Legend, uh, made a comment on my video about uh, the guitars because I made a uh, comment that this guitar was made in China and he corrected me and said it was Indonesia. Well, that's kind of true, kind of not. And I don't know, maybe one of you can verify this for me, leave a comment below or something and let me know. But if we look at this guitar on the inside, this one here is made in Indonesia where this one over here now this is the Oliver is made in China and this is the Mason so I don't know maybe somebody could tell me is this a higher end China lower end Indonesia or did they change manufacturing plants at some point in the process uh, somebody can let me know. Either way, what I will tell you is that no matter whether your guitar is made in China or Indonesia, it appears to me from the two that I have that the fit and finish is really nice. Uh, there's no flaws in this thing. You're not going to uh, get it and, and really be ashamed or have any kind of remorse about buying it whatsoever based on the fit and finish of the guitar and mine sound great. So uh, that's one thing I did definitely want to say. Uh, for the money, they are great. Okay, hey, thanks for clicking, checking me out again. 
if you like the video, please hit like. Uh, thank you very much for that. Once again, cannot believe my hats off to these guys that do this on a daily basis. It is uh, a lot harder than it looks. So this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to try to do another video too for you guys. And hopefully if I get my hands on a solid wood, uh, orange wood, we'll do a review on one of those. So there you go, orange wood. If you're watching out there, send me a solid wood one. We'll review it. Uh, actually, uh, I'm also looking at getting uh, an amp so we can do some... Uh, uh, some sound checks on it. Uh, so thanks again and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.